Ben TK. We've just arrived in Christchurch. I'm with Jamie, my brother, Lana and Cam. And we're on a four day trip around New Zealand in Christchurch, exploring the best things there are to do around Christchurch. And right now we're not wasting any time. We're heading to a very popular place called Hamner Springs. And we're gonna be doing bungee, jet boat riding and quad bike riding. And it's gonna be sick. So we'll see you guys there. Team, we're about to jump on the jet boat. You ready? Woo! So far, let's go. Yeah. <laughs> Straight after the jet boat riding, it was time to go bungee jumping. And for Jamie and Cam, it was their very first time. Cam, how are you feeling? Definitely a bit nervous. Yeah. Feeling fun. I'm just gonna look out, not look down, just jump, jump like a bird. Two, one, bungee! Oh. <laughs> buggies and we heard because of the heavy rainfall in the last couple of days the tracks are just full of water and full of mud. It's gonna so, be a messy ride. That makes it more fun though. Let's <laughs> get it. <laughs> After being pumped full of adrenaline, it was time to head back into Christchurch where we would be spending a few nights at Pepper's Clearwater Resort. This is beautiful, so this is where we're having breakfast and just behind us is a golf course and then just behind that is a lake that lines the golf course, so it's beautiful views. We may extend about 24, 24 26 nights more. All right, so we're just about to check out our room at Pepper's Clearwater Resort, so uh, come have a look. Oh, it's so nice. Look at Chardonnay as well, complimentary. You're kidding. No, I'm not kidding. Yeah, it's on the table. We have a bedroom that's the size of my living room back home. And we have a bathroom that's the size of my bedroom back home. So today we are heading on a road trip outside of Christchurch city centre to a place called Arthur's Pass, which is about a two hour drive west of Christchurch. And the plan for today is to explore some of New Zealand's beautiful nature. Uh, we're gonna go to some waterfalls, we're gonna go explore some forest hikes. So yeah, come along and uh, we're gonna go check out what Arthur's Pass has to offer. Our first stop on the way to Arthur's Pass was a place called Castle Hill, about an hour drive from Christchurch. Here we explored the beautiful rocky landscape formed by weathered limestone around 30 to 40 million years ago. After exploring Castle Hill, we headed into Arthur's Pass where we began a short walk up to Devil's Punchbowl Waterfall. Halfway up, we found ourselves battling a change in weather conditions, but nothing was going to stop us from seeing one of New Zealand's most famous waterfalls. Alright, we're at Devil's Punchbowl Waterfall today. The weather hasn't been very nice to us, but there's the waterfall behind. It's massive and it's such a beautiful walk to get up here as well. The thing is, when you're in Arthur's Pass, you're up in the mountains and you just constantly get a bit of cloud and rain. So, 
we're dealing with it today just to come out yeah. and see the waterfall. We're absolutely saturated, <laughs> but it's so beautiful here. The Devil's Punch Bowl, if you're feeling a bit more adventurous, just a short drive away, is a place called Otira Viaduct Lookout. Here you'll find a stunning bridge that cuts through Arthur's Pass. Alright, so we've just checked into the break free on Cashel, and I'm about to have a look at my room, so uh, come join! This is very, very generously spacious. This whole room, Ben's got one next door and I've got this and we're staying here for two nights and the best thing about this accommodation is it's in the centre of Christchurch so it's walking distance from a lot of Christchurch's main attractions. Alright, so we're all pretty tired from today so I think we're going to get some rest but tomorrow we're heading on a gondola ride which is going to take us to a viewpoint where we can overlook the entire city of Christchurch and all of its beautiful surroundings. So, I'm going to get some sleep and we'll see you guys tomorrow. So we had a good night's sleep last night and now we are on our way to the gondola. I'm actually pretty keen for this one. What do you reckon, Jamie? Super keen. Uh, weather conditions are not ideal. We've just heard it's pretty windy up there. We're hopeful that we'll uh, be able to get into a cable car and get up the top and see the amazing view of Christchurch. Right, so we're at the gondola now. We're jump on and head up the mountain. <laughs> So once you've done up the top of the gondola, checking out the amazing views, there's heaps of pathways that just line the mountainside, so uh, don't forget to check them out and go for a little walk around. So it's a little bit windy up here at the moment. Views are absolutely amazing though. Look at this, I reckon I can fly right now. <laughs> yeah, we're going to get some coffee and then we're going to head back down and see what else there is to do. Right now we're making our way towards the Riverside Market where we're going to get some food and as we're walking down there we've noticed there is a lot of awesome street art here along the buildings in the Christchurch city centre. So after a long day of exploring the streets of Christchurch we've made it to the Riverside Market which is a super cool spot to come in the evening to uh, have dinner and have some drinks. We've got a massive selection of foods at really good prices. And if you are visiting Christchurch in winter, like we are, it's a beautiful place to escape the cold and come enjoy a nice warm drink. Can we go right there to that bar? Get some beers. Get some beers. Some beers. <laughs> God, I'll get some beers. We've been working hard. We're gonna get some milkshakes, I reckon. We're gonna get some yeah. filthy milkshakes right now. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Awesome. Um, awesome. Thanks, man. Have a good one. Cheers. Cheers. Cookies and cream. Oh yeah, that's really good. Holy. Holy. <laughs> Cut to next day. So Mackenzie's region is named after a guy called James Mackenzie, who was sort of an outlaw back in the day. He was accused of stealing sheep from a large sheep farm with his dog Friday. And hence the name Our Dog Friday, which is named in memory of his dog. And they reckon they make some damn good burgers, quote unquote, damn good. So we're gonna go inside and find out if that's true. Let's do it. Looks good, that's for sure. It is absolutely stacked. Dude, how is it? It's damn good. That looks juicy. Mm. Yeah, man. I'm oh, that's the plan. So we've just yeah. finished eating up at Our Dog Friday and about a two minute walk from there you'll find the Church of the Good Shepherd. So the Church of the Good Shepherd was built as a memorial for the pioneers of the Mackenzie region and it's also an incredibly popular place to come and get married. And you can see why because of the beautiful turquoise water of Lake Tekapo right behind it and its gorgeous mountain range which is now covered in snow if you can see that. Winter time, perfect time to come down here because you get these beautiful snowy mountains. That's all we have time for on our incredible road trip down here in Christchurch, New Zealand. We hope we were able to give you some incredible locations and tips on what to do if you ever decide to come down this way yourself. Me and Ben were blown away with the amount of things to do around Christchurch, but we will say if you do come, get adventurous, hire a car, 
and explore all the beautiful nature that lies just outside of Christchurch city centre. Special thank you to Jetstar for flying us out here and stay tuned for some more incredible destinations where Jetstar can fly you next on this channel.